JB Morrow, go and get your bag. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making creamy chicken tortilla soup. All you need is some seasoned chicken breast. I already seasoned it. I put um, saison, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, stuff like that. You're also going to need some heavy whipping cream. You're going to need corn. I dropped my can, y'all. Um, you're going to need a can of Rotel. I have the no salt added. Never had this before. Um, you're also going to need some black beans. You're going to need some taco seasoning. You're also going to need some shredded cheese. I'm going to use some chicken um, bouillon. I'm going to put that in there as well. And you're also going to need some tortillas. So let's get into the video. Oh yeah, I cut on me some onions on a paper plate. This is not a cooking show. This is me cooking at home, so it is what it is. I decided to cut my onion up on this plate. So let's get in. Okay, so now we're gonna saute our chicken and hopefully this grease doesn't pop everywhere. I still did the other one like that, but it's too late. I'm gonna go ahead in here. So we're gonna take this chicken out. Okay. Hold on, y'all. It's hard trying to pour it and cook at the same time. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna take the chicken out. Now, now we're gonna add our onion. So we're gonna saute our onion. I probably have to use another pan. I don't know. The kids, I don't think they're gonna eat it. Now I do know they're tasty. They might taste it, but y'all know kids. They don't know what they be missing out on. Uh, now we're going to add our corn. We're going to add our rotel. I'm going to have to switch pans, y'all. Just give me one second. Rotel. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Rotel. Yeah, I know it's freezing cold outside, right? So this is the perfect kind of soup to make. So now we're going to add our black beans. <laughs> I might as well add the whole can. This probably lasts us a couple days. Look at the color combination. That is so pretty. All right. So we're going to mix this all together. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to switch pans. ASAP. So let's mix this up. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. So now we're going to add some water. If you want to add chicken broth, you can. Now, I've never made this before. So hopefully it comes out right. And now I'm going to use some chicken bouillon. This is why I didn't buy any uh, chicken broth because I was like, I'm going to use this since I already had that to give it that chicken flavor. And now we're going to add our chicken back to the pot so it can get nice and tender. Let's put the, the juices from the chicken back in there. We need all of, the, we need all of that flavor in there. Okay, so now I'm going to add my taco seasoning. I have mild taco seasoning as well, y'all. Mix that all together. And then we're going to let this simmer for about maybe 
30 to 45 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I never made this before. So I'm kind of disappointed. I just watched the video. It said to use corn tortillas. I have flour, so we're just going to make it do it. It is what it is. No big deal. Hopefully, it don't taste that big of a difference. But we're going to cut these up into scripts like that. And then we're just going to fry in some oil, y'all. I'm kind of disappointed, but we're going to make this work, okay? Make it work. Here go my fried tortilla chips. I know they're not gonna taste the same, but it just is what it is, y'all. If I don't like it, I just won't eat it. Let's check on our soup. Carol said it's, Carol said I made it kind of spicy, but I like for my food to be spicy. I love spicy food. So what we're gonna do is take our chicken out, y'all, and shred it up. That's what we're gonna do. I thought I was gonna ask you to do that. So we're gonna take our chicken out. So we're gonna take our chicken, y'all. Look at the steam coming from that. And we're just gonna shred it up. Like that. Right like that. Like this one is real tender right here. Well, I know y'all don't want to see that. And this cutting board is sliding all over the place. Hold on, y'all. So now we're going to add our chicken back to the soup, y'all. Mix it all up. It's starting to thicken up. So what I'm going to do now is add some heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Mix that all together. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit more water for y'all. Smells so good, simple, quick, and easy to make. And some more water, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I saw some people add like cilantro to it, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. I'm not gonna add a lot. Like I said, I never made this before. So I don't want to overdo it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, not too much. And I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes because I'm trying to eat and watch a movie, y'all. It's really done. So we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to add our cheese to this because I am tired of waiting. I'm not going to add a lot of cheese. Just a little bit to give it some extra flavor. And we can just put the cheese in our bowl. When I tell you, this smells so good, y'all. So good. Okay, don't come for me. Don't mind my bowl, y'all. But look at this soup. I can't believe I made this creamy chicken tortilla sh um, soup. Now, I didn't have the corn tortilla, so I ended up using the taco shell, but it is what it is. But I think I'm going to add more avocado to this, too, as well. But, y'all, it's too hot for me to pick up and just show y'all, show y'all. But this is the final look, y'all. Okay, y'all, let's taste this soup. First time making it. And you know what, y'all? When I was cooking it, I didn't taste for the flavors. 
Where's the sour cream? I don't think I got no sour cream. You didn't tell me I needed sour cream. Give y'all the first bite. No sour cream, though. This stuff is hot, too, y'all. One thing you can add with the guacamole. Well, this is where the avocado take place. Hold on, y'all. This stuff is hot. Mmm, that's good. Whew. That's hot, y'all. This is good. This is really good. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video. It's good, y'all.